The transition to nuclear power may lead to a major breakthrough in cancer treatment. Fox's Ashley Webster is in Oak Ridge, Tennessee with more. It's all about turning nuclear waste that's stored in these giant casks into a potential cure for cancer. And it's happening here at Oak Ridge, the former headquarters of the Manhattan Project that was making the world's very first atomic bomb. But today, they're creating the ultimate recycling story. These technicians work for Atkins Realist Isotech. It's a company contracted by the Department of Energy to extract thorium-229 from highly radioactive nuclear waste left over from the Cold War. It's difficult work, but with a specific goal. So we extract the thorium, we purify it, then we package it, and TerraPower then gets it so they can create the medical treatments. TerraPower, a company created by Bill Gates in 2006, then uses the thorium to extract an element called actinium-225. It is complex, time-consuming, and demanding, but the final product shows cancerous cells can be targeted down to the minute level without the side effects of things like hair loss or nausea. With actinium-225 therapies, we have the ability to precisely deliver the actinium molecule just to where the the cancer cells are. It's the ultimate recycling story. Highly toxic nuclear waste being used to help find a cure for cancer. Using a stockpile of dangerous material while saving costs for taxpayers and all with an end result that could benefit the world. This has global implications because the amount of actinium that TerraPower will be able to produce from the thorium that we provide could certainly service the globe. And this is what doctors and researchers are excited about. The image on the left shows a patient riddled with metastatic prostate cancer, but the images on the right show that same patient after being treated with actinium over just a few months. There is already one drug in the third phase of clinical trials and could come to market by the second half of 2027. In Oak Ridge, Tennessee, I'm Ashley Webster, Fox Business.